when we look at the costs of well, compliance, good morning. 20, 20, 20 million uh, kroner. Is that the top of the cost structure for implementing change? Are, are you resolute on that number as you deliver your results this morning? Well, good morning from Stockholm. First, I'm uh, very happy to present the stable result uh, for 2019 uh, during a very turbulent year. And we have profits for around 20 billion kroner. Uh, it's going down a bit compared to last year. And I think the main reason for that is the cost we are putting on both the investigation by Clifford Chance on the allegation against money laundering in Swedbank and also the increased cost of running a bank. But um, on those numbers, Jens, I mean, when we were hearing from you uh, back uh, in October, um, you said that the U.S. investigations may take years to conclude. Can you give us any kind of update on the U.S. investigation? Well, I think the key point is that during March, the Swedish regulator and the Estonian regulator will come without, with their verdict on sort of whether we are breaking any rules. And at the same time, we will try to, to sort of uh, uh, convey all the results from our investigation by Clifford Chance. Then the US authorities will probably look at us for a while, and I cannot say how long uh, that will take. Uh, if you look at historical uh, other examples, uh, it's taken everything from three to five years. But that's not in my hands, that's up to the US okay. authorities. Jens, uh, we, we're constantly trying to work out uh, provisions and, and the size and the scale of the potential fine. Some analysts have run the number, their numbers. Morgan Stanley say you could face a fine as much as six billion kroner on the back of the money laundering allegations. Does that number fit with the bandwidth that you've made your assessment? And if so, when do you begin to provision for the potential fine, sir? Well, we have not uh, sort of made any provisions for possible fines because first, we do not know if we get any fines and if we do get fines, uh, we do not know the number of it. But Swedbank has a stable uh, financial position and if there would be any possible fines, uh, they are, uh, we, we, we have enough money to pay them. OK, but what level of fine yens, what number, if you can put a number on it, would lead to a further cut in the dividend payout ratio? Uh, well, we have a dividend payout ratio that's 50 percent, and that's sort of we intend to stick to that. And I'm not going to go into a sort of position on guessing how much, uh, uh, whether we will be fined or whether how big such a fine then would be. Can I ask you then about the business? We saw a shift in rates uh, back to zero at the Riksbank. Um, I just want to get a sense of what that's done to business demand, the complexion of the bank. Well, uh, what we know is that when interest rates goes up, uh, it's actually good uh, for the bank in the sense that we have a strong deposit base and then we can use that to lend out, especially in, in mortgages. We've not had, had uh, negative interest rates on, on people's savings accounts, uh, so that means that when interest rates goes up from a negative level to zero, that's good for the bank. Are you satisfied, Jens, uh, with many of the recent changes with executives in the bank, of course, yourself included, but also um, the risk chief and Baltic head uh, leaving in December? Are you satisfied that the change round in executives is leading to systemic changes within the bank? Well, I think uh, you... you asking sort of the, the right question sort of in many ways it's a new bank that's coming forward if you look on the whole bank we have a new chairman we have a new vice chairman we have a new ceo we have a new head of uh, swedish banking we're going to recruit the new head of baltic banking we have a new compliance officer we're going to recruit a new uh, risk officer uh, we have also an incoming new communications officer in many ways it's a new uh, bank that's uh, coming forward and i think that's good because that means that uh, uh, it will strengthen the confidence in the bank.
that's an awful lot of change, a lot of new, 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 and as you say, a root and branch change within the bank. Is that a headwind to growing the business as you go through a transformation process? No, I, I don't see it. I, I see it actually as a way of having a new start. And uh, these are challenging times for banks. You see a lot of increased competition from fintech companies. You see sort of, uh, uh, was it Bank of England that came out the other day and said that you've seen sort of falling uh, interest rates for 700 years. Uh, so it's a challenging environment. Uh, and at that time, have a new start for the bank. I think actually that's pretty good.